I was today years old when I found out that GRWM was get ready with me. I didn't have any clue. I thought GRWM was grown woman. <laughs> Anyhow, today I'm gonna show you how I do my makeup routine. You can get ready with me. And it's nothing f fancy, okay? Like, just don't even, don't expect much. But I figure that if I am often wondering how to do my makeup, that maybe somebody else out there would be too. And so I said, let me just jump on TikTok while I do this. And we can just have some story time. We can get to know one another. There's only one of you here, Desi. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. So I was saying, I often wonder how to do my own makeup. I just don't know what I'm doing. And I am always looking crazy on my videos. And so I said, let me just do my makeup. So my first thing I do is I wipe my face off with a makeup remover because, you know, why not? This is my makeup case. I am 41 years old, but I will always buy, always buy the anything iridescent. It's just my kryptonite. I have to have something iridescent. Like the 13 year old girl in me is craving it. She needs it, she needs, she needs iridescence. Anyway, I recently took a makeup class from none other than the best makeup artist in Nashville, arguably, Haley, or Haley Clark. And so today you get to watch me put it on. We'll see how it goes. But I just wanted to try live. I feel like I don't use TikTok because I don't know much about TikTok. A choke hold. Therefore, I don't use it because I only know Instagram. But I like TikTok. Like, I was in a choke hold over that Risa Tisa series, honey. A choke hold, okay? And I was on TikTok every minute I could get on it because I needed to know what was happening with Risa Tisa and this mess that was created with this man. So then I was on TikTok and now I can't get off TikTok. So first things first, I got a clean face. My eyebrows were tattooed on and they're terrible. It's just awful. And I hate them. So I have to draw my eyebrows on first, but before I do that, I always add a little bit of um, concealer from my old makeup sponge. So I'm just gonna put on some makeup here and just kind of go over my eyebrows a little bit just to, you know, see what happens. I'm using this Anastasia uh, brow uh, gel, I guess it is. And I like it because I just do. <laughs> There's a lot of people who use the powder, but I like this. It's kind of like a gel. A little pot and then i take some and i wipe it on the top of the lid because i can get a better finer print and then i use my little angle brush and then i go in here and just draw my brow and i just start at the end down here at the end tip first see that little angle see that y'all mm -hmm. just seeing if anyone's here no no one's here just me oh, and then I just go in here and start start in this area. Like I kind of just draw where the bottom of my eyebrow should be. And then I come back up to the top line. No need to reload, because then you'll have some really dark brows. But I like to start with my brows first. Anyway, honey, Risa Tisa had us in a chokehold last week talking about her business and I was all for it because I too met somebody online, got into it too deep. And before I knew it, I was into it too deep with him, honey. If you know what I'm saying, he comes over my house with an arm full of brand new Louis Vuitton. And next thing you know, between that, the season and the holiday spirit. Well, for three years, I thought, I just thought that I was the weirdo, that something was not right. And I was trying to make it work. And I just knew someone right. And one day while talking with his mom, I found out that everything he had told me had been a lie, honey, a bold faced lie. The eyebrows are drawn on, they are not twins. They do not match, but they're on there. And that's all that matters. Okay, next up is this. It's called Pretty Fresh by ColourPop. All right, I like this on my eyelid because it just holds my makeup on. It's, okay, so I put this over my eyelids like this. And it is not perfect, y'all. Look at this, look what's happening. I just got it on there. I don't know if you can see that. Light is the name of the color. But this color pop is cool because it mats my upper lid and allows me to, it just kind of make, allows any eyeshadow to grip onto it. So I'm just using this little brush. 
and I'm just rubbing it on. Not rubbing it, but like, you know, putting it in place. And then at this point, okay, because I have this stuff on, I can now almost carve out or clean up any eyebrows that's going on down here. So like, look, see how I'm just cleaning it up? Honestly, I'm really just playing with TikTok today, y'all, and hoping that you're enjoying it. Over here, you see this? I'm just getting it in the place. Right there, like that. See, and you can just clean it up. Oh, bye, everybody. Anyhow, TikTok ain't full of with me. Well, that's that on that. We tried it. Okay, so right now we have the brows on, and I have the color pop on to my eyelid, just as an eyelid, you know? See there? Up next is just a little bit of eyeshadow. Now this is my Naked palette. It's Kim Kardashian, KKW Beauty. See that there in the sparkly letters? Okay, very neutral, very nudey. I take, I don't even know what you call this brush. I'm just gonna call it the feather brush. See this brush right here? And then I'm gonna go in here. I like a nude, I like a little mix. So I do this nude color up at the top and then I do this like sort of a brownie color and just kind of go back and forth between the two like that. And then I blow it. And then I just, first things first, I go in here and I, I make like a rainbow where my eyeball is, you see? I like that. And then I just go in here and just kind of feather that out. I make like a rainbow. Hello. I just kind of feather the ends. Okay, nice, nothing fancy. Another round of that. Okay. Get ready with me. I really swore that was grown woman. See how I do that there? I can just go in a little arch and just kinda, I'm looking at myself, look, see? Mm -hmm. Nothing fancy happening here. Just kind of getting in those cracks and creases. All right, cool. I don't want to do too much, see? I don't want to do too much in the crease. I'm just trying to, because I'm not doing a smoky eye. I'm really just kind of keep it real natural and real easy. See what happens when I go crazy with it? See how much more powder there is there? Yeah, I gotta feather that out. That's too much, just got too much. Right, so again, that's why I use the nude, so I don't have to go and add too much color. Okay, so there's that. Okay, now it's time for the lid. Now this is interesting. I never had done this before, but I like it. I tried it the other day. I go in here with this brown sparkly number. I think it's called Gravity. I go in here with this and I just cover the lid. Like, it's a vibe. Watch. I normally would think this would go in the corner, but I put it all over the whole lid. What? Just down here, closest to the lashes. Mm -hmm. See that? Now don't worry about what's underneath because we'll clean that up. Okay, right there, just close down to the, just the bottom part here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back with a little bit more. But basically this whole concept, because if you don't have these colors, it's fine. But I'm just putting a little bit of like nudie, darky, nudie, natural, like sparkle. Okay. If you want to feather it out, you can go back with your, uh, we'll call it the rainbow brush, which is just a fluffy brush. And we'll just go back over the, that area just to kind of like, you know, smooth any lines out, take, pick up any of those sparkly bits and then do that. Okay. Now I'm going up in the top. I'm going up underneath my brow with a light little feathery brush, right? I'm taking the lightest color. Okay. And I'm going to dip it in, the, in another light nude and kind of just go back and forth. No big deal. And then I'm going to go up underneath my eyebrow here just to give it a little bit of a light eyebrow vibe, just to pop that brow. Now I have kind of like a hooded eye a little bit, so this is, helps to bring the eye up a little bit. 
Mm -hmm. I, I have a, my old rag that I was just wiping my brush with. I'm just gonna go up underneath the eye and just catch any, any fallout. And I'm also gonna clean up that corner down here. See that? See, that's all, that's all the fallout. Got the fallout, fallout boy. Okay, so there's that. Now, this is the foundation for most of the eyeshadow. I don't need a lot of eyeshadow. I'm not doing a lot of extra. I just want a little natural vibe. So now it's time to go in and do the actual foundation. All right, so first you want a good primer. Now, I didn't know what primer was until recently, but it's really just something that helps like fill in your pores so that the foundation sticks. I like this Milk Makeup Stick. It's a blur stick. It's really good for TV. I know if y'all ain't on TV, it's fine, but still. Uh, a little blur makeup stick. Anyway, I use that, so I'm just gonna go in the T-zone and kinda get a little on my forehead, down my middle, around my cheeks. I guess it's not exactly a T, but you get the gist. Okay, and I just put it on the parts that I really want to grip my makeup. This thing will like last forever. Now there's a lot of ways you can put on foundation, okay? A lot of people would argue there are quite a few ways. I mix it on the back of my hand. I use my two NARS colors. I have a light color and a darker color. I buy one that's too dark and one that's too light and I mix them together so that I get two, two pumps of each, essentially. You can make your own and then it last longer. And then a lot of people use a sponge, like this little spongy thing, which is fine. I kind of use that later, but I personally like my little brush. So here's my little brush. I don't even know what number this is or what it even does, but it's a little flat wide brush. that's kind of like all stipply. And then I got my two colors on there and then I just twist my brush around so that it kind of mixes the colors. And then I just start pouncing it on my face. Now don't go over your eyebrows because you just drew those on. But I just try to hit the major parts of my face. And I just feel like this brush gets the makeup all over better. That's just me personally. That's my thought process. That'll make it right, but I do like it. And I can get all up in here. Try not to get your baby hairs, though it is easy to do. And you try to put it all over the face. Personally, I will get the edges of my lips because that's just what I do. I feel like it's okay. I definitely want to make sure you get down your chin, underneath your chin, around here to your ears, underneath your ears, down your neck. Like, do yourself a favor. I don't need that little crunchy line right here. No, no, no. Mm hmm. I get around the eyes, but not all the way up underneath them. You see how I still haven't done underneath my eyes? Okay, so now, man, you really wanna make sure, ooh, booger, what in the hell? Y'all, I'm always good for a good booger. Ooh, what in the hell? Y'all, Lauren, Jesus. Hmm. Okay, so there's that, okay. All right, now we're going back underneath the eye. I'm going back under there. Remember that color pop I showed you? Mm-hmm. I'm coming back under my eyebrow, un on my, under my eyes with the color pop. And I'm just doing a little in the inner, and a little in the outer, and then a few little dots in the middle. So inner, outer, and a few dots in the middle. You see what I'm doing there? Nothing crazy, don't get crazy. This is where I come back with my little this and I blend. I just blend it right on in there. I'm not a makeup artist, but this is what I do. Okay, next up, I go in with my Laura Mercier. This is a translucent powder, which means that it, because it's translucent, it's like kind of clear. -y. It doesn't have any tint or any color in it. Then I get this, I've got a brush like this. See this, it's kind of like an angly brush. Kind of got like a little peak in the middle. Get a little bit of the product. I tap it off on my top, okay? So it's not as much, and then I 
I press it in. Okay, I press it in. And then whatever fell off of that, I pick back up with my thing. Uh, I press it in, I just press it in. Now this, we will dust off more of it later, but I just do that so that it's starting to set in those creases. Because if you leave that foundation or any of that color pop in the place where your face creases, like my under eyes, then it'll get those like wells, like little rivers of makeup and that's not cute. So that just helps hold it in. And then sometimes I'll even press the translucent powder right over my eyeshadow because I'm like, why not? I got some extra on this thing. Let me get rid of it. Okay, now here we are. This looks crazy, right? I get it, we look a little crazy. So let's bring some life back to this whole face, shall we? Next, lashes. All right, my lashes are just not giving what they need to be giving, okay? So I draw a little line of black liner. Now this is from the Beauty Supply. This is nothing fancy, I think it was $2, $1.49. But I like the little tip. Here, so I just start in the corner of my eye and draw a little lip out, you see that? And then I take it from the top of that thing and I come back in to my eyeliner. And then I just fill that in. And then once I got it, I could just run a little line at the top. Now this takes practice. You will probably not do this on the first day. If you make a mistake, get a Q-tip. That's all I can say about it. It's easy. Okay, same over here. All right, these are twin sisters, not twins, so just be ready for that. See? Hmm. One is a little bit longer, but honestly, I'm just gonna put some fake lashes on top so maybe nobody gonna know. All right, at this point, I probably should have did this first. I'm gonna try to curl whatever lash is there. A Q-tip is going to be your best friend if your eyeliner is messed up. Like this is just the only way to go about living. I always lick it a little bit, clean up any little dots or any little pieces I can always use my Q-tip for. Okay, now I apply my mascara. Now this is Bad Gal from Benefit. It's amazing, I love this, this mascara. The reason I'm putting on mascara it's really just so that I can pick up some of the dust from all of the, the powder. And also, it blends in with the new, la the fake lashes. Take my lashes and I like to, I like to put some glue on them and let them sit for a second. Don't go putting these lashes on right as soon as you put the glue on because let me just tell you something right now. They will be too wet, too sticky. You want them a little bit sticky. You want them like, you want them to get like a little bit tacky so they'll go on easy. And you don't want a ton of glue. Like I just put a little thin strip of glue. Not a lot, you just want a little. A little goes a long way in the eyelash department. Again, as I said, I'll just put a little on there and just let it. Yeah. Let those sit there for me, you in time out. While I'm waiting on the lashes to dry, I come back to, to dress my under eye pro is situation. Now, I get a little bitty brush like this, a little bitty one, and I go back in here into my Kim Kardashian and I go to the dark brown. This little pop of dark brown underneath the lashes is a game changer. So I'm talking about my bottom lid. I, I run it right next to and into my waterline. Okay. All the way in. See that? All 
all the way. All the way. See it? So that's done. All right, lashes have been setting. Okay. Now it's time to do Put them right on top. You all see that? So as you're sitting right on top, I just go right in on the top of it. Okay, once they're on, you just want to give them some time to cool. And just to finish doing their thing. Okay, but once the lashes are on, honey, I mean, that is a game changer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait while the glue dries on my eyelashes to do the final mascara underneath. But I wanted to say this too, this is also a good time if you want to add some color or some extra sparkle. I'm gonna take it up a notch by doing that. I have my Ace Beauté Falling For You collection. I'm just pulling this out. Like if I want to do a fun red or something, I'm gonna do this light pink just as a fun sparkle, just the way it looks on my my skin tone. This is a good color. So I'm just gonna go right into the, the tear area here and just add a little bit of sparkle and then bring it down to meet that brown line that I just kind of brought out of here at the bottom. So just a little teary. I'm going a little bit over the tear. You see that there? Mm -hmm. oh, again, starting at the bottom. Then marrying the two. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Just like that. But like I said, I, this is just my color palette, what I had in my, my collection, but anything will work, just, just fine. Any sparkly bit, if you wanna add a little sparkle or a little color, instead of doing the brown line, you can do like a blue or something fun. Now, a little bit of black eye mascara for the bottom lashes. I feel like this just makes the whole thing pop. Yeah, it's a vibe, huh? And then, for the final flourish, a little bit of black eyeliner. Right in the tear duct, or excuse me, in the waterline. Just to bring it all together. Hmm, get into it. Okay, so that's a vibe for the makeup. The lashes are certainly helping. And then now, we gotta bring some color back to the face. All right, because we did do a lot of makeup, a lot of foundation, and it's just all one note. So I'm going in here with my Fenty Beauty. This is a Caramel Cutie, Caramel, 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 whatever you want to call it. I just find my cheekbone and kind of go between my cheekbone and my jawbone to give a little, you see, a little lift in that department. Again, right in here, see that? Wah, wah, wah. Right, just a little right in here. And then I like to take it up, up to here. Like all the way up to my eyebrow. Or eye line, eye, eyes. See right, right in here. See that? To really help to like bring that up. And then I take a little bit of extra. I go into my, what is this thing called? A widow's peak? Hmm. I go around my face. You wanna give it, you know, give your, Shrink this all in, especially me with my forehead, honey. Get in here. Don't worry about them baby hairs, they'll be all right. And then a little under here for any double chin action because there's always a double chin action. Okay, so there's that. Now I've got some bronze coming back up in here. And I personally, and this, I take the bronzer and I use that for me along my nose. 
Now this is only if I'm doing something extra fancy. If I really wanna carve out some stuff. Make my nose look thinner. But I like my nose, it's just the way it is. Come down here, same situation. And a little on the top. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I put a little bit of the bronzer on the top of my ojo, okay? And a little down here to create a little extra shadow. Now, this is just something, um, I don't know if I saw this somewhere. Th this is not taught to me. I just feel like I do that, okay? Now, there's that. All right, now for a little bit of blush. Blusher, my grandma used to call it blusher. Get the blush out. Okay, I use, this is a uh, Tarte Potty. I take a little bit of that, kiss the cheeks right here, and just kind of go up closer, go up towards my eye. See that? Kiss her up towards my eye. Uh huh. Whatever's left, I just do a little dollop, a little dollop, a little dollop. That's again my grandmother's move. Who needs a tip from their grandma on how to do makeup? And voila! Now it's time to just line my lips, which I usually just use whatever liner's lying around. One of these will do. I start in the corner. This is a nude. I do try to overline my lips down here. Okay, and then here I do overline them here. I just go straight across. And then I, this is an unpopular opinion, but I will just line my whole lip for some color if I'm feeling, feeling it. And today I'm feeling it. Okay, so that's the makeup routine.